life isn't a riddle that's ever solved. The need to solve the riddle just disappears. The fear of life and death just disappears. Not the biological fear of the body, but the personal, the personal, um, aspect to everything. The personal reason for everything, the personal meaning and purpose for everything. It all painfully dissolves. I say painfully because the purpose and meaning that we put to life at different stages and for different reasons and at different ages based on what we were interested in, based on who we trusted, whatever the reason was. A lot of it is just unconsciously happening. It's all unfolding. It's seen that it's unfolding on its own, that life is happening on its own. And that's not understandable for the sense that feels like it's choosing. But anyways, it's seen, I have no idea what I was saying. <laughs> There's just love. It's not personal. It's not bound. It's not known. Nothing is known. All of this is a mystery. It can't be solved. It's just this. Just what's appearing to happen. The sensation, the thought, is already this. It's not separate from anything else. It's arising within as this mystery. Don't try to understand these words. These words have no meaning. No word has actual meaning. And yet, in a relative, in a relative sense, it does. We use it. It makes sense. We communicate. We understand each other to a certain degree. Depends. But words are made up. Any idea, any belief, any concept is made up. It is not truth. So is not solid and absolutely real. It just isn't. Thoughts are so fleeting. I Everything is. And isn't that nice? 
doesn't stick to anything. It's not owned by anything. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't say anything about anyone. It doesn't say anything about you. It never speaks the truth. Bum, bum, bum. And see, I'm, I'm cautious knowing that if someone is on a spiritual path, then be on a spiritual path. Enjoy it. Know where you are. Know what resonates. Know when this is used as an avoidance. As an av avoidance of life. Because this isn't avoiding or rejecting or accepting anything anymore and when the sense of a person is there all of that stuff can be really helpful like the learning to accept things because most of the time we are avoiding a lot that's just how it is because life is difficult so it's like totally understandable So here, even the rejection is accepted just because it is. So it's not like, you know, it's not mentally thought of that way. If that's happening, it's just happening. And then on another sense, there's a lot of joy here to... Um, work with people wherever they're at point certain things out you know there's a beauty seen in the person the personal journey the personal experience And there does seem, at least for now, like the energy here to speak, to express, to attempt to describe the indescribable. <sighs> Even though it's futile. Even though this is already perfection. This is already home. There is only unconditional love already already and you know it's like I'm, I think I'm less crazy than I was as a person because the person is just, is really complex. And I don't know what I mean with the word crazy, but everyone's just crazy. There's just these, um... bubbles of thoughts coming from nothing coming from nowhere <laughs> these sensations in the body then actions happen deci decisions are made cho choices are, are made no one's making them it feels like someone's making them And when it feels like someone is making them, it feels like something is actually happening. The cause and effect is real. Time is real. 
it is solid. It is a re remarkable effect that is happening. And when it's then just empty thoughts, sensations, uh, actions, choices, decisions, when it's just that and it doesn't belong to anyone, then nothing is happening. There's no actual solid time. There's only stillness. There's only silence. The thoughts are silent. The sensations are silent. They're empty. They're free. And ironically, it was free the whole time. It might have just felt bound. whole thing is crazy you know we follow these teachers we follow these gurus we think that someone knows more than us and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that I'm not saying don't follow anyone I'm not saying don't take advice I'm not saying don't go get help I'm not saying any of that do it. If it feels right, do it. I'm just saying that now looking back, no one had no one had the answer because in a way the answer, which is not really an answer, it's just the dissolving of the need for anything to be answered. The answer is nothing. The answer is not something known, gotten to, achieved, something to claim. The answer is just the dissolving of the sense that needed an answer, that needed reassurance, that needed to know that this was going to be okay, that I was going to be okay. There's nothing to fear. You don't have to fear fear. If fear arises, that's perfect.
so it seems to take some time to get used to living without meaning living without purpose but I think the more that dissolves the more of the personal remnants that just dissolve the more nothing there is the more unknowing there is the more clarity and almost peace there is and it's just a word it's not meant to have any meaning it's so hard to choose words because they're all equal now in a sense, not really. I still prefer some words than others. So no one has anything more than you. It's a rare thing to hear that. Because I think there's just... In maybe a general sense, there's fear built in the system. So I don't see the system as bad or anything like that. It's just more... It's just what it is. But the system is based on money and hierarchy value and meaning so it's um isn't that uh, a little bit part of the dilemma How does one that is empty of all of that again come into that? It's interesting because, you know, the meaning behind the whole system and society, it loses its gravity as well. So then it's not such a big deal in a way to be part of it. But it's also, at least for here, it does feel more like just the pure simple natural wants of the body it's just that it's uncluttered it's not owned by anyone no one is manipulating it in any way making it something and it's just more free to be as it is so it will most probably that will be uh, so-called prioritized or acted out and ironically you can't even make meaning out of that you know, I used to say things like, oh, this is, this is authenticity or this is maybe honesty or 
And it's not like I can't use those words. I think those words still come out, but they really don't have any meaning anymore. There's much more, much more of a simplicity and much less of a gravity but that is the equality that is the so-called peace because if nothing is that much more meaningful or purposeful than anything else which the person can't help but do at times so you know there's nothing wrong with it but when you go high, you will go low. When you really find meaning in something, it will fall. When you really find purpose in something. So I, I'm not saying that as like it will definitely happen. I'm just saying that it, it will oscillate a lot more. Like a lot more. And so the difficulties in life, in a way, can just feel more intense. when it's for someone that's really thriving on the meaning and the purpose in life it's so much more complex and there is a beauty to it as well it can be quite challenging but there is a beauty to it <laughs>